Good morning, good afternoon. Um, just waiting for a few more people to join. So we'll wait, we'll wait a few more minutes. Um, we're expecting a couple more people to join. Okay, um, I think we're, we've got a, a few people on, but Erin um, just pinged me to say that she's going to be joining shortly. Um, Quinton is on holiday, so he won't be joining today. Um, so I posted, uh, I posted the link to the, um, to the agenda um, in, in, um, in the chat window, in the Zoom chat window. Um, 
I guess uh, there are there are just a few things um, we'd like to uh, cover off today. So the the storage landscape document, um, I sent out an email asking for um, uh, asking for comments. Um, that has been brilliant. There's, there's been fifty odd comments so far um, in the last uh, in the last day. Hopefully, we'll get um, we'll get some more. All of the comments um, make the document a, a better a better uh, document in the end. So. Um, I'll be I'll be reviewing those uh, those comments as we as we go through, um, and uh, and hopefully get to finalise them uh, get to finalise them shortly. Um, secondly, um, although it's not in the agenda yet, um, Xing and I um, had a short meeting to discuss the um, the survey document. Um, we are going to prepare um, a, a quick summary to to share. Um, I think it's fair to say, though, and, and Jing, it would be lovely if you could weigh in here. Um, but I think it's fair to say that the the, the survey wasn't um, wasn't horribly conclusive in the sense that it didn't pinpoint, you know, um, specific pain points. What it what it did kind of tell us is that there is um, a, a broad level of um, different understanding about um, cloud native storage um, and that um, people are using or end users are using um, a, a wide variety of, of solutions, whether it's it's on prem um, and in the cloud. Um, what, it, what it kind of did highlight, though, was that um, you know the need for information and the need for um, best practices is 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 definitely um, kind of implied by some of the answers within within the survey. Ching, I, I, do, do do you want to just weigh in a little bit here? Or did you have anything to add, maybe? I think you captured it very well. Uh, yeah, it is definitely not conclusive. <laughs> yeah, I I don't have anything else to add. All right. Um, for for what it's worth, the the, the high level um, results from SurveyMonkey are are posted in the in the link in the in the agenda item, and I'm posting the link in in the, the chat window as well. If uh, if people want to have a quick look at that, um, I um, moving on. Sorry, were there any questions on on the on the survey um, at this stage? Okay, so um, so moving on, um, the next item was the performance and benchmarking document. Um, so I've put a little bit of work to to tidy it up um, and to include some of the feedback items um, that people had committed to the document. Um, I think it's beginning to take shape, but um, the one the one item which is which is still pending are the benchmark example. So, so it's you know some examples of of um, how to run uh, volume and and database benchmark. We we kind of know um, some of the tools. We've identified those tools. We've, we've we've got some of the some of the text in play. Um, for what it's worth, I'll I'll post a link to the to the performance um, document in the chat window as well. Um, and and I think I think we're probably in a state where we can where we can release a useful document that provides some of the information around benchmarking and, and provide some of the caveats and some of the common issues around benchmarking um, and the terminology. Um, and, and maybe if, we, if we're struggling to find um, a proper way to, to write some of the examples, um, perhaps we, we should consider releasing the the performance document um, in this state because I think it's still I think it's still useful um, without without uh, all of the examples is I'd, I'd love to hear um, if anybody has an opinion on that um, especially a strong opinion one way or the other nobody All 
All right, going once, going twice. In that case, what I'll suggest is I'll um, I'll finish off tidying up the draft and send out an email to the mailing list um, asking for 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 further comments or or for further help if if that's possible, um, and then we can try and close this off because we've we've had this open for for a while now. Um, the next item, which which I'm hoping to have uh, quite a bit more um, discussion on because we have to take a decision is the the use case template. Um, so uh, as a background, um, we we had an action item that uh, Aaron, uh, Luis and myself uh, were going to meet to discuss um, the use case template. Um, and for background, the use case templates uh, that we were putting together um, stemmed as a follow-up from the landscape document. So we kind of thought once the landscape document is out there, um, the next step would be to, to kind of take it one step further and document some use cases and best practice for different use cases um, that can be applied to, to cloud native storage. Um, we we prepared some items um, of uh, some items which might be suitable for a template, and we we had quite a quite a useful debate back and forth as to what types of use cases and what types of examples and and, and, and how we would build this. Um, the idea originally being that we would um, have kind of like a library. Um, of use cases in in a GitHub repo that um, that different people could help contribute to and maintain um, that would provide you know useful guides to to um, to end users who are looking to deploy applications um, on different uh, cloud native storage providers or cloud native storage options. Um, and some of the, you know, some of the best, uh, some of the, the, the best practice could include, um, you know, things like uh, uh, tuning or best topology options or, or, or settings for availability or scalability, for example, um, for those particular use cases. One of the one of the biggest challenges that came up very quickly was the 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 concept of the kingmaker, right? How do we decide? Which use cases should get included and which use cases should should be excluded, and and you know um, how do we how do we avoid the use cases um, being defined as as you know implicit or 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 explicit um, recommendations for a particular product um, because that's something that that is you know quite clear in the CNCF charter that we shouldn't be really doing those 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 type of recommendations. Um, so. In the past, we uh, a few months back, we we kind of agreed. Look, maybe we shouldn't focus on the specific use cases, but but create um, uh, categories. And we we sort of said, you know, we'd create categories for things like databases or or instrumentation and and message queues, for example, and 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 have, you know, and have um, um, some. Some best practice that can be applied to to a, a category of of um, of uh, use cases rather than you know specific product use cases. Um, when and 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 that's kind of where we were. So so we we finalized um, a use case template and we were going to try and fill one out. And and, and this takes us to the to the meeting that um, Aaron Lewis and myself had last week. The as we were discussing it, um, Luis raised, you know, a valid point as to are these use cases still valid, and are these use cases still um, uh, are these documents still useful? Is it worth the time that we're that we're investing in this? Um, and I think this brought up a fairly uh, a fairly important um, issue in that, in order for the use cases to be valuable to end users. They probably do need to be specific, and they probably do need to be specific to certain projects. So, for example, you know the the type of tuning or the type of um, uh, things that you would do to to make um, uh, to make uh, a storage system uh, optimal for 
um, one particular database provider might be quite different to what you'd use for another database provider. Um, and it wouldn't always be easy to, to, to just provide generic, um, generic uh, best practice or generic guides. And it, we kind of felt that, you know, as a, as a group that if we did um, bring it down to sort of those super generic levels of, of those high level categories, um, that the effect of these use cases might be might be that they become useful to very few people or or you know they don't become useful at all so on that note um we kind of came to the conclusion that perhaps we shouldn't proceed with creating these these use case examples and these use case guidance documents um and i'd love to hear from the rest of the community to kind of get your feedback you know specifically the SIG leads, but also anybody else that's that's on the call too. I don't know, Luis or Aaron, if you want to kind of weigh in and um, capture anything else that I might have left out. Yeah. Um, think, oh, I, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say, I think you captured it perfectly. I couldn't have said it better myself. And and uh, uh, so thank you. And I agree. I, I think we really, our, our feedback, at least from the community, we discussed this in our call, was many people are looking for opinionated direction on how to do things. And, you know, we want to provide to them something that's meaningful. And if, if, if we can't do that effectively by being overly vague, then it may not be something that's worth our time um, putting a lot of work into just creating generic docs. That's that's not what they need. They need to understand how each of these components work together. So, I I agree with the the stance. Um, so. And 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 from here, what we would do is we would encourage the those uh, projects to have you know use cases, but the projects would have themselves have to do it be very opinionated from their point of view, right? So. Right. I don't know, Sat or, 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 or Suku, what do you think? I think that seems like a reasonable way forward. Uh, we do have to worry about, you know, no king making and anytime we start to talk about a specific product uh, versus another product, that's uh, kind of a, a sign that we should uh, be careful about where we're going. Uh, I'll turn on the other hand, I think what you said sounds right. In order for this to be valuable, you kind of have to be specific. So it makes sense that uh, maybe this is not the right direction to take at the moment. Yeah, I would, uh, um, I think we also have to make it uh, interesting for people to come and find and look for, right? So, um, uh, I mean, uh, what I mean is, uh, it has to gain some level of popularity also. So, um, otherwise, even if it's all accurate, uh, but then if it's, if people don't find it interesting, they, they won't use it. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's a good point. So, you know, I mean, in based so so based on that so so with the complexity of trying to make the information available in in a, in a way that it doesn't it's not specific whilst also making it useful to end users and and valuable such that they actually look for it i i think we're we're basically stuck between a rock and a hard place um and my you know my my recommendation at this stage would be for us to to just pull back and dedicate our resources to to a, a, a more useful project, perhaps, um, which where we can, um, you know, where we can actually do something a bit more um, useful for the end users and for the CNCF, you know, whether that's you know project reviews or um, or or other information documents or whatever that that um, that we think are 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 going to be more valuable. So unless you know, unless there's um, 
any strong objections to that, I'll I'll note that down in the in the agenda as a as a decision we we took, and we can we can shelve the the, the use case template um, and move on to the next things. Yeah, I should. I think we should revisit this maybe when there's more players, uh, right? Um, maybe in three or six months. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think I think the work that we put in to define the type of information that would go into a use case is is still valid. Um, and I think you know, at, at some point, if if the situation changes on on sort of opinionation or, or specificity for these projects, then then um, you know we could we could we could pick it up again. But I I I think you know the the challenge still remains if as long as as long as we can't be specific and we can't be kingmakers or you know can't be seen to favor any particular project by being specific, then it's it's kind of means we're 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 stuck. So I'll take I'll, I'll take that as a um, I'll take that as a as an agreement that we'll 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 put that on on hold. Um, finally, I wanted to um, just talk about the the, the projects um, which are on deck. So um, for TI Cave B, we've had the presentation. Um, Saad um, has been involved in the uh, due diligence doc. Erin um, and I need to um, put the sort of formalize the, the SIG recommendation um, in that document and then the GitHub. Um, and we'll also include a link to the to the project um, presentation recording um, so that we can we can take that off and um, and put the TIKV on the on the two wheel on on sorry on the two week comment period. Is everybody okay with that? Sada, are are you fine with that? Yep, sounds good to me. Thank you for helping with that. And we really need to do a recommendation for Rook as well. Yes. So we we should get that done. I have a cross plane thing here in a little bit, but I can certainly work on that. You and I in the background create a Google Doc, Alex, and put our feedback in there to give to Saad. I mean, there's no real yes. good outline today for that, but I feel like that, and then we can drop it, we can collaborate on that and then drop it into the PR. I feel like that's the appropriate places to have it publicly posted on the PR. That was going to be my next comment was, um, before we move on, if we can get a external note from Saad on uh, TIKV for public comment being open. Uh, yep, I can do that. I think I did one for, it was either TIKV or Rook, I forgot which one, but I'm sure both yeah. of them are there. Just making sure that like everything gets like, you know, publicly okay. announced. Thank you. Got it. Yep, will do. Cool. Um, and the, the so, so Harbor is obviously, um, that, that has been finalized and, and now that's that's going through public comment at the moment. Um, and the the last project uh, that we had on deck was was Profiga, um, which is was a streaming storage provider. Um, of they they Derek Moore has has let us know at the last meeting that um, they wanted to uh, proceed with a with a CNCF um, project. So um, I've, I've pinged him to see if he needed um, any help uh, to to um, work out sort of which level of of uh, which project level uh, he wanted to join the CNCF as. And um, as soon as we get that information, I guess we'll 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 help kickstart that that process. Okay, um, those were. The main things I had on my agenda, um, unless uh, uh, is there is there any other items that that anybody else wants to raise or want, would like to talk about? Who 
No. Okay. Well, in that case, um, we we actually get half an hour back. Um, so thanks everyone, and have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Take care. You too. Bye. 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 Bye.